everyone, welcome back to another video. Unfortunately it's just started raining but we're out pretty early this morning, just after 8 o'clock now, heading up towards Manchester, obviously back on the bike in this week's video. So the reason I'm heading up into the centre of Manchester this morning is to go and meet the Crimson Performance guys for their team launch slash ride this morning. Uh, they head out for a bit of a loop in Cheshire as a bit of a celebration and the launch of the team. Some of you may know that my brother Leon rides for Crimson, unfortunately he's not here today. I know quite a few of the guys on the team, so we're going to go up there and uh, yeah, enjoy a bit of riding with them today, a bit of a social spin, and uh, yeah, see where we get to. I'm not sure exactly on the route, but I've heard that they're leading the way, so I'll just sit in the wheels and uh, enjoy the ride this morning. Hopefully the weather improves a little bit. Maybe we can grab a chat with a few of the guys as well. But I'm actually already running a little bit late because on the way I've been stopping a couple of times just to tinker and set up something you may spot in the video, a new bike from Lapierre and uh, yeah just been kind of getting that dialed into my position but you'll have to wait another week or so for the full video on that. For now I'm going to put the camera down, make the most of uh, the free speed that I'm getting on my new bike and uh, make sure I get there on time so I'll catch up with you when I get to Rafa Manchester. This is why you don't ride in the city. There you go, on the perfect bike for it. There we go. That was fun. <laughs> Okay, okay, well, mate. Probably, two sec two seconds off. off. <laughs> <laughs> you get the KOM, Matt. Oh, easy. <laughs> Didn't even break your sweat there. <laughs> where, where are you? So we just come over the top of Brickworks. Now just heading over to the top of uh, Bays Hill and down into Rain now. I'm back into the Cheshire lanes, but yeah, been a good ride so far, catching up with a few of the lads. And uh, beautiful views up here, stopped raining, so that's a good sign. And uh, yeah, enjoying the ride so far. After meeting the guys at Rafa there, made our way out of the city and uh, into the Cheshire lanes. And as you all have just watched, we've been over Brickworks, down Blaze Hill, through Ballington, back out into the Cheshire lanes, and now over into Town Park. We split up to, into different groups to uh, allow for different team riders to ride with different people and so on. So I jumped in a bit of a group with uh, Matt and a few of the team riders and uh, yeah, a few of the guests they've got along today for their team launch ride and yeah it's been pretty nice so far been lucky with the weather yeah the sun looks like it's trying to come out now as well so 
Yeah, through Town Park now. Gonna catch up with Matt for a quick chat in a moment, tell you a little bit more about the team and about what they're trying to achieve with this ride. So I'm about three and a half hours into my ride now after riding an hour into the city to meet the guys. Back out, did our loop, just come through Tatton there now. Yeah, gonna head back up to Manchester, into the city, grab another coffee at Rafa and then head home, probably round it up to around five hours today. So yeah, pretty good day in the saddle. So here with Matt, obviously manager and owner of the team, out today. On the team launch ride, I suppose. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, what are you trying to kind of gain from today? So we put um, put it up for just members of the public and RCC members to join the team for a, an 80k loop in the in the peak, starting from the clubhouse in Manchester, giving people the opportunity to ride with members of the team. We've got uh, the national crit champ Joey Walker with us. And, yeah. It gives us as the riders a chance to, to test out our new bikes and works in well, well with your new partnership with Rafa as well. As well, of course, the kit kit's provided by Rafa Custom and and also the riders get to meet again after you know think, things being a bit tricky with being able to ride in in bigger groups. So we've got eight riders out today in multiple groups out on the road. We've got about 40 people out on the ride just make it inclusive make it fun head back to the head back to the pub house have a beer yeah although you are you having an alcohol free one i'm on a coffee i'm afraid yeah, yeah, but, yeah you see i can have a beer yeah just make it fun make it make it a good day out for everyone get get back to riding in bigger groups again and yeah i've enjoyed it so far and Getting to catch up with some some mates as well, and that's it. It's just all fun in it to get back out together. Of course, and obviously you probably Leon yeah. rides with the team. And yeah. Any words for Leon? He'll be watching back at home probably over yeah. next week. He needs to get on that ferry. Yeah. Get over here and get get some racing. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know he's very much going. looking forward to riding his new bike as well. He's obviously on Cipollini's this year. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's christened it today with a. Uh, Pretty grim conditions, but <laughs> some fresh mud. Oh yeah, yeah. Nah, it's been good fun though. Good to have you along. <laughs> Just got a draft back on by a team car, haven't mate? Yeah. <laughs> Do <a> convoy. <laughs> So after my bad run of traffic lights on the way into Manchester, seems to have got a good run in, all the green lights on the way back this time, but uh, yeah, had a bit of fun there. Bit of a race into the finish. And uh, yeah, gonna put the camera down and get back to Rafa now. Was the ride for you this morning, mate? It was wonderful. Sat on Adam's wheel all the time. Maximum will come off where it works. Yeah, you, and he didn't drop me. You did a coke <laughs> at the end. <laughs> get off, what can I go? <laughs> go and get the Mackies on the way home. <laughs> so I've got myself back out of the city now, which has probably been the worst part of the ride today, to be honest. Just stopping at all the traffic lights. Uh, I must have been stood at red lights for about half an hour, 45 minutes, I reckon, this morning. But definitely got some standing starts done anyway. But yeah, good ride. I got five hours in the legs already. So, yeah, back out, heading towards home now. And yeah, good test for the new bike as well, actually, because one of my first proper rides on it today. Yeah, it's one thing setting it up with the measurements and everything, getting comfortable on it that way. But it's another thing, getting out on the road, testing to see how it feels, go around corners, up hills, down hills, and just feel there's some confidence on it. So, yeah, I've got a good starting to get a good feeling on it today and uh, yeah hasn't missed a beat as i say stay tuned for that new bike day video uh, which will be coming very soon i'd say it's been a pretty decent day out today and uh yeah good to 
to ride with some of the Crimson boys and kind of put the half wheel on them a little bit. And uh, yeah, good training day. And uh, thank you very much to Matt for inviting me along. I'm not sure how much of it I caught on video this morning, but Matt has actually just moved into a brand new state of the art bike fitting studio on the bottom floor of uh, Rafa in the center of Manchester there. And uh, yeah, if you're looking to get any adjustments or get your bike fitted, then uh, he's definitely your man to, to call. He's been in the business for a long time and he's definitely one of the best. We're also gonna do a tour of uh, Matt's new studio in the near future on the channel. So stay tuned for that. But as I say, in the meantime, if you're looking for a bike fit, um, I'll drop all the, the details in the description below so you can head over to Crimson Performance, find out what Matt can offer and uh, yeah, get you nice and comfortable when you're, when you're out on your bike. Hey boy, where have you come from? So after a brief encounter with Larry the Lamb there, just coming up pretty much the final little climb of the day, up around the back of Bollington and uh, onto the Carriage Ridge. But I think that's pretty much everything covered for today's video. Just gotta get to the top of this climb and then descend home and yeah, get some lunch because I'm pretty starving now. It's just after two o'clock. Um, five and a half hours in the in the legs. Hope you all enjoyed the ride today. I certainly did and we're almost home now so it's about that time we finish off the video and if you did enjoy it then please do drop a like on the video. I hope you've all had a great weekend whether you've been out on your bike or whatever you've been up to. Thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope to see you next week. Cheers!